What makes an art capital? Well, I think I go back to my spinball question at the beginning, which is artists. Artists making interesting work in an, artist, in an environment that's conducive for them to make it. When people talk about London as an art capital in very positive terms, the word they always use is the word they used to only use about New York, and that's energy. And there's a sense that when a, when a certain dynamic occurs, an energy, the kind of pervasive sense of energy is produced. And this seems to me to be an absolutely critical thing. And artists are very central to making that happen. But, but that, that seems to me to the, be the, the edge of difference between a, a place that's really got something happening and something, some place that's a nice showcase or something, but doesn't have that inner vitality. I'd like to say that if there is the energy, that it will translate into something positive. Um, and I've certainly seen examples, as I said, in South Asia where there hasn't been government funding, where cities have become very, very interesting spaces for artists. But on the other hand, having seen the examples of Hong Kong and Singapore where the government does fund various schemes and does fund art schools and art education and institutions and everything else that goes along with it, it is much easier for artists to live in that environment and for an art capital to grow out of that environment. You know, I think as a city, you just have to be able to attract people who are artists, which is <laughs> echoing something you said earlier. And maybe you have to be a bit of a mess of a city sometimes <laughs> to do that. <laughs> You have to be interesting in, in ways that might be messy ways. <laughs> I mean, I lived in Los Angeles for a long time, and there was a very oddball art group of artists there. They were really mavericks who didn't want to go to New York. I mean, by choosing to be in Los Angeles, they were really thumbing their nose at the art establishment. But it included people like Ed Ruscha, Mike Kelly, Paul McCarthy, Chris Bird, and Raymond Pettibone, artists who are very well known. Um, but they were all extremely eccentric. Uh, and they really didn't want to be part of this art establishment. In LA, especially when I was living there, it was much more of a messy place. Just like the way London, in some ways, is kind of a messy, labyrinthine city. Uh, it's spread out over miles, you know, it's. Um, so I think, when I think of a place like Singapore, I think it's got to get a little dirtier. <laughs> <laughs>